John, thanks for joining us as usual. Um, last weekend we had to be patient for the goals to come against Montrose. Are you expecting something similar or a more open game against East Fife this weekend? I would think we, East Fife getting such a good result last week against Airdrie at home, uh, scoring four goals. I uh, would anticipate they'll go all out to attack and I would expect it to be a much more open game. Uh, I, I can't guarantee that because obviously I don't, you know, obviously these five will do what they will try to do, obviously, what they want to do. Uh, we've got to concentrate on ourselves. Uh, every game is different. The game against Montrose was definitely a game where we had to be patient, exactly as we did. Continue to pass the ball until the openings came and, uh, and the goals came, you know, and that's, uh, it doesn't matter, basically, when it comes, whether it's in the first 15 minutes or the last 15 minutes or, or whenever in the game, as long as we uh, stick to what we're trying to do, uh, if we can open up teams earlier, then great, you know. If it takes a bit longer, then it's also great, as long as at the end of the day we come out on top, you know. Some teams will manage to stay uh, in a low block and be defensive and, and uh, be very well organised and, uh, you know, you, you have to break that down. So sometimes I'll take that. Saturday, you know, there might be bigger gaps to be exposed earlier in the game. You know, because as I say, they will play, I would expect, at home a very attacking game and, and look to take the game to us. And we've got to be ready to handle that and then turn our game onto them and hopefully, you know, create the opportunities and take them. Yeah. We always look back to the most recent result as an indicator of what might happen in the next game. Um, new loan signing Jamie Gullen came on and had a, a very positive impact has he given you a pleasant dilemma for this East Fife derby match yeah there's no doubt that this time where Jamie came on he uh, he did very well so of course yeah like anyone who comes on and makes an impact uh, you know he was involved in a lot of different attacks you know in, involved in you know, the, the first goal and, and the build up to the first goal he, he scores the second goal you know so He's uh, very much in my thoughts, yeah, of course, and that's good, you know, we need as many options as we possibly can, you know, we we don't have lots of options at the moment in, in the attacking area, but, you know, we're getting closer and closer to, uh, you know, Louis Vaughan and Tony Dingle coming back, so these options will all of a sudden become, you know, a lot of options, uh, Victoria, you know, is not so far away, they won't make this weekend, but it's not so far away, and all of a sudden we'll have, you know, a lot of attacking options. So with young Jamie Gunn coming back in, he can play in the wider areas, he can play as a 10, he can play as number 9. So that's great from my point of view. So, yeah, you know, I, I'm sure that it's, it'll be an entertaining game at the weekend. Yeah, and, and with the the record of derby games last season, you know, East Fife got a couple of wins, we got a win and a, and a draw. Um, do you see this game, you know, derby match, big derby match potentially for East Fife as a chance for them to really lay down a marker for their aspirations and climb up the table? Yeah, but you know, I'm not really that interested in East Fife. To be fair, I've really got to concentrate on Wraith Rovers and what they their aspirations for the season. You know, that's, that's entirely up to them. You know, we've got to, we've got to go there and uh, build on the fact that we've got nine points from a possible 12 we want to make it 12 from a possible 15 if we can do that we know that we're going to be sitting at the top of the table come Saturday night and over the international break going forward and that's going to be our motivation it's a derby game it's uh, one that our fans will relish if we win as we did the last time we were there you know we came back from being behind uh, scored a couple of late goals to win and that was the most recent derby game against East Fife so you know, that day certainly again, very similar to the weekend there, we had to keep at it and keep at it and keep at it and eventually, you know, it paid off and although that will probably uh, increase uh, heart rate and everything else, uh, blood pressure and all that type of thing, I would take that right now if it means that we're going to get three points and a win. We, we talked extensively about the, the attacking options and the goals that we scored and the chances we created in the most recent game, but we can't forget about the part of defence of the, the defence have played in the last match. Clean sheet against a very strong, muscular Pon Montrose attack. Um, quick word about them and how well they did in the last game. Yeah, well again, it's very it's, it's the same for me in that we, we uh, attack as a team, we defend as a team. The whole team's got to defend well. It's not just the defence. Yes, of course, 
you know, individually when the striker scores a lot of goals, he gets a lot of the credit. Without the other players getting the ball to him, you know, he can't do it his own. And it's very, very, it's the opposite, but it's the same principle. You know, the defence cannot keep a clean sheet on their own. But if you look at the league, you know, we've had 50% success rate clean sheets. We had a clean sheet against the Barn, and we had a clean sheet at the weekend. We've only played four games, and two of these games we've had clean sheets. I mean, that's 50%. If we're talking after 36 league games that we've had 50% success rate in clean sheets, we'll have done really, really well. Of course, it's early days, we've only played four games, so it's probably highly unlikely that we can do that. But if we can do that, we'll, 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 I would imagine we'll have won the league. Because mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's massive. You know, that is absolutely massive. So it's not just about the goalkeeper and the back four, the midfield, defending from the front, closing up gaps, not allowing gaps to create narrowing in, making sure you don't get beat through the middle. If the ball goes wide, we're trying to stop crosses coming in. If the crosses come in, you've got a second bite of the chair to defend the cross. If you defend the cross and you clear it to the edge of the box, get out to the edge of the box and block shots, put your body on the line. That's how you defend. Yeah, yeah. Um, you made mention of the fact that Louis Vaughan, Tony Dingle are making good progress. Um, the other um, the other injured player, Jack Smith, is there, has there been any further developments or change in his diagnosis? Yeah, Jack's not great. No, he's not great. So he's you know it's about six to eight weeks was what we uh, and he's now just over one week. It was a week past Tuesday, so he's got a bit to go yet. Uh, I mean, it's slowly getting better, but you know I think unfortunately he's going to be out for a wee while. So we'll just have to uh, encourage him and help him, and they'll be working with a physiotherapist with regards to rehabilitation. But it's going to take a little bit of time. And of course that is the reason why you know we had to eventually go out and get Jamie Dillon because our options were yeah. getting less and less in the attacking. So we had to go out and get Jamie as soon as you know, we realised Jack was going to be out for a while on Tuesday night. You know, we put the wheels in motion on the Wednesday and uh, you know, everyone knows we got Jamie in and he did exceptionally well and I'm sure he'll continue to do well. Final point, um, we always take a large, loud, enthusiastic support to Methyl. Um, how important is it that, that the Rovers fans this week get right behind the team? Like every week, you know, every week. Yeah, of course it's a, a derby game. Uh, you know, the fans love these type of games, the atmosphere, and, the, you know, they, they like winning, you know, like, like the rest of us. So hopefully we can give them a lot to shout about if they can encourage the players as much as possible through the, the 90 minutes. You know, we talk about it being a roller coaster season, you know, as it is football, that's football, but even through a game, it can be a roller coaster, ups and downs. You know, we'll have to, uh, I'm sure, come across the, these ups and downs throughout the game, and it's sticking with the team, even when, you know, there'll be moments where maybe he's five far on top, there'll be times where we're on top, and we'll need to stick together to get through and hopefully end up on top. Great. Thanks, John. Good luck. Thanks, Neil.